If you need to guarantee that no one can use your spreadsheet without enabling macros, then the method I'm gonna show you in this video is exactly what you need. And not only that, you can just download the spreadsheet in the description and it's all set up for you. You could just put any other sheets you like into it and it works a treat. I'll show you how it works in this video. Hi, John here from Up For Excel. So you wanna force people to enable macros on your spreadsheet every time they use it, without a doubt. You don't want them even getting anywhere near the thing unless macros are enabled. Now this will work for anything, including whether you email the file, or you download it off the internet from a website, whatever. This way, guaranteed to work, but does require a bit of setup in advance. I'm going to open a file now. When you open it, you're going to get something like this, which basically says you've got to enable macros to see it. Now, there's nothing to this spreadsheet. There's no uh, hidden sheets or anything like that. This is the entire spreadsheet. But if I click enable macros, all of a sudden, I've now got a working macro, of course, but also, it's as though I've opened a completely different spreadsheet. There's no hidden sheets in this or anything like that. So this is where we're going to end up. Now you can download this spreadsheet as it stands with all of this working and then you can just put your own sheets in it and it will and it'll work absolutely fine. So, but there are a couple of things that I want to talk you through here because you're going to need some protection adding to this file. Like uh, the one I'm letting you download is uh, unprotected, for example. So there's a few things you need to protect so that people can't like hack the method and they just won't be able to get around it. So keep watching and I'll talk you through all of this, how to create it from scratch. Okay, how is this achieved? Every time we close the spreadsheet, we're hiding all the sheets that you can see at the moment and revealing a sheet which tells people to enable macros. And then whenever the spreadsheet is opened, we're doing the reverse. We run a macro that hides the splash screen, which is the, the message saying enable macros, and reveals all of the previously hidden sheets. Now, of course, that code will only run if you enable macros. So if you don't enable macros, all you see is that splash screen. The moment you enable them, the code runs automatically and everything gets unhidden. Now, there's two techniques you're going to need to know in order to make this work properly. Because one, you need to have macros that are running as soon as a spreadsheet opens. There's no manual intervention there. It's all automatic. So you're going to need automatic macros. You're going to need something called event procedures. But you're also going to need something to stop people unhiding sheets because at the moment you can see that unhide is grayed out. And if I hide that sheet, for example, and then go to unhide, the only sheet I see still is the one I've just hidden. So I can unhide that. It's as if that other sheet has disappeared in, into thin air. So you're going to need a technique to make sheets completely invisible to users as well. So in order to achieve the effect of being able to hide something completely, you need to use a property in the VBA called very hidden. So we do uh, Alt F11 to open the VB window. You'll see in this workbook, workbook for example, I've got these four sheets. Now I can click on any one of these, for example, on that test, and you'll see there's a property called visible. Now if the properties window is not available, you can just go to view and uh, properties window or click F4 and that'll be visible. So yeah, click on the sheet. You can see it says visible. Now, hidden is what I just did. That's the same as manually hiding it in Excel, but you can see you have this very hidden. So when I select very hidden, I'll go back to my spreadsheet and not only is the sheet not visible, but I haven't, don't even have the ability to unhide it. It's as if the sheet doesn't exist. 
So this is an excellent way of hiding stuff within spreadsheets. And you can certainly use that, for example, in, um, you can hide passwords and, and things like that, if need be, on a hidden sheet. We're going to make use of that in order to create this sort of splash screen, unhiding and hiding technique that you saw earlier. The second technique that we're going to use to create this false macro situation is event-driven procedures in VBA. So what is an event-driven procedure? Well, if I just enable the content on this spreadsheet at the moment, and we'll go to the VBA editor with Alt F11. How are we going to make our code run automatically then? Well, if we click on this workbook, then we can have stuff at workbook level. And the first, very, very first one it picks is workbook open. Any code we put in there will run when the workbook opens. Now there are a hundred of, well, it's not a hundred, but there's a lot of other things you can use that activates with the workbook. For now, what we're going to make use of is the open command and the before close command, because when we open the spreadsheet, we want everything to um, become visible. And when we close it, we want everything hidden so that the next user has to also enable macros. And that is the key to this technique, which I'll talk you through the actual macros that we're using now. I'm in the spreadsheet now that you can download whenever you uh, like, just click on the link in the description. Um, it's an instant download, so you can open it up straight away, don't have to register, nothing like that. Right, I'm in the first page, I've enabled the macros for now, although it doesn't actually matter, it just makes things life a bit simpler. So Alt F11 to go into the VBA editor. Within the, uh, this is just the macro that you can test, but what we're interested in is, um, the workbook sheet, sorry, the workbook um, code. So I click on that, you'll see this code. All the green is just annotations by me, just saying what, what this code is doing. So you can read through this at your leisure, but I'm gonna talk you through the uh, key aspects of it because you're going to, it's, I, I always think it's useful to know what the code's doing because then you can add things to it if you want, or you could even remove stuff um, and you know that you're not gonna mess it up. So the key aspects are, we've got the workbook open. What it does, main thing it does is call something called the show sheets routine. And that's just sandwiched between a couple of lines of code that are actually quite important. So I'll just tell you what they are. So the first one is to switch off screen updating. And the reason you do that is, well, there's two reasons you do that. One, you don't want um, the user to see sheets being hidden because if the computer's running slow, you'll see it sort of happening. Just want to hide that whole process from view and then, and also it speeds things up. And then the other thing is we want to set ev enable events to false. And what events are, are event-driven procedures like, for example, workbook open, workbook close, workbook print, etc., etc. What we do not want during any event procedure, in fact, is to have other event procedures running and triggering. Because if, for example, we, in our workbook open macro, we make a change to the spreadsheet and there's a workbook and there's a spreadsheet change event procedure somewhere else, it would trigger that. And we, if we're not careful, we end up in these sort of like continuous loops, jumping from one macro to another, it can massively slow things down. We just switch them off. So switch off the screen, switch off the events, show all our sheets, and then switch the screen back on, switch the events back on. Nice and simple. So what is show sheets doing? So we'll just go to uh, show sheets, which is here. The main core of this is this little loop in the middle, which just runs through every sheet, making it visible, except where it is the splash screen. So it's actually a relatively very small piece of code, but there's a couple of uh, tricky things in here that I just want to talk you through. So firstly, we're setting on error resume next, and that just prevents any debug errors or anything like that appearing in front of the user should something go wrong. There's not much that can go wrong, but 
it's always worth putting it in. And the one thing that could go wrong is the splash sheet name. Now I'm referring to the splash sheet by its VBA name. And that is the name when you click on a sheet here, it says name and I put it in there. Now you can see the actual sheet name in Excel is called please enable macros. And the problem is someone could change that. So I don't want to refer to it by that name because you might want to call it something different or whatever and you still want this code to run. So you just need to, whichever splash sheet you create, you just need to call it SHT splash in the name or change this piece of code, one or the other. So what we're saying is we create a loop through all sheets in the active workbook and each one's going to be given the variable O sheet for a sheet object. If it's VBA name is the, it, sorry, if its name is the same as the name of the splash sheet, obviously in the splash sheet, then um, if it's not the same, sorry, then you make it visible. So this will keep the splash sheet hidden. Then what we do is we very hide the splash sheet after we've done that. So we've made everything visible and then we very hide the splash sheet so that no one can know it even exists. And then this is the interesting part or, diff or the different part. We then set the workbook saved property to true. What, why do that? But this, this macro runs when the spreadsheet opens. So straight away. So there's no way anyone could have made any changes to the workbook. But because we've been hiding and unhiding sheets, Excel will think there has been a change to the workbook. And we don't want that to we don't want it to think that because if it thinks that if the user just goes and closes the spreadsheet i'll say do you want to save your changes and they'll think well, what, what changes haven't made any so it's confusing so we set that property to true and then excel will not bother to save the workbook or will not think it doesn't need to save the workbook because nothing's changed so that's quite key actually and then on the last line, on error go to zero, it just resets the error handling back to normal behavior. That's just best practice to just, if you switch something on, you switch back off again afterwards. So that's the show sheets. So that's that. Okay, so we open it, all the sheets show, great, off we go. Right, what about next time though? If I save that workbook halfway through my um, work, I've now saved it with all the work worksheets showing. So, Surely that, that's a problem, isn't it? Well, no, because we run another routine before close. Now, before close, basically, just as somebody goes to close the workbook, this routine will run. What's it do? Hides everything and saves it again, essentially. So even if they saved it halfway through their work with all the sheets unhidden, when they close it, it will hide the sheets and save it and then just before it closes. So and no way can anybody open it and see sort of hidden sheets. So that's, that's what we're trying to achieve. But again, we just have to do something to do with this workbook saved routine uh, or property just to check something. Because what we need to do is if the user has saved the workbook at some point, so if the saved is true, then we're going to create our own variable to, to tell us this. So I'm just calling it a Boolean variable saved. And the reason we want to do that is because we're about to make changes to the worksheet. We're about to start hiding sheets. And when we do that, Excel will tell us that the workbook has not been saved or the changes have not been saved. But those are changes that we're making in our code. So we don't care about those. What we care about is whether the user has made any changes or not. So if the user has um, made changes and saved them, we set our variable to true. Otherwise, of course, our variable will be false. Therefore, we'll know that um, nothing's been saved anyway, right? We then call our hide sheets routine. So just uh, it's the opposite of what we did before. Basically creates this big loop, well, makes the splash sheet visible because you have to have at least one sheet visible, hides all the other sheets as long as they're not the splash sheet in the same way that the previous code did, and then jumps straight back into here. 
where at this point with all the sheets hidden we now say well was the workbook saved before we did that yes it was that in that case we're going to save it again with those worksheets uh hidden if it wasn't saved before it doesn't really matter because because by default it would have had all the sheets hidden anyway switch back at the screen updating switch back the events and off we go so that was quite a long explanation of this code or quite a detailed explanation but i think it's good if you do understand it all because you can then create other you know if you want to put additional workbook opening code in for example you want it to do other things you need to be aware of the fact that events are disabled that screen updating is disabled and things like that so that's why i've talked through it in detail so you can modify it and add to it if you like okay one very important point indeed is this you need to password protect this code because imagine if I go into my spreadsheet and even if I hadn't enabled macros I went into um, the code I could say click on anything in here and I can just make change these properties and go oh yeah I'll have that visible thank you very much oh now all of a sudden I can see the splash screen and the rest of it I could disable the code could you know just delete all that code and save the spreadsheet you know ruin all this hard work so what do you need to do well it's quite simple you just right or right click on the VBA project click on VBA project properties and you'll see there's a protection tab you can click on lock project for viewing and you can give it a password and if I do that if I just put a password so I don't forget it password and click OK save the file go back in and instantly because I've already enabled macros they are automatically it remembers the location and it will just default to enabling them the next time anyway as long as you keep opening the same file from the same location click on here go to here I cannot open it because I cannot open it I cannot see the sheets I cannot make them unhidden I cannot delete the code um, unless I've got the password or I know how to crack passwords on VBA projects which is quite complex but possible so it's going to take a lot of hard work for anyone to crack this spreadsheet get into it they're only going to be able to use it if they enable macros which is what we wanted all along hope you found that useful make sure you download that spreadsheet have a look at it yourself uh, you can adapt that and use it as you see fit you can even distribute it i don't care not copyrighting the code or anything like that make sure you check out the other videos on up for excel if you like what you see hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon as well to get notified of the next videos coming out and i'll see you soon